I wish that I had bought this sooner. So the Hyperbell is essentially a barbell. However, it allows you to use your dumbbells at home that attach on the end to add additional weight for whatever exercise you may be doing. It relies on these two clasps at the end that you can take off. So basically there's a twist lock and a clasp and the clasp goes over the handle of the dumbbell. You close it, lock it back on, do that to both sides, and now you have your barbell set up. Now on the website, this bar can support up to 200 pounds, meaning 100 pounds on each side. I personally do not own this. I did have dumbbells a long time ago, the Yes For All dumbbells, that could actually go this high. However, my core fitness dumbbells that I will be demonstrating all the exercises with in this video only go to 50 pounds each, so I only have about 100 pounds to work with. Now, out of the box, everything is already good to go. You have the connectors on each side with the twist locks, and of course, the bar. There's no additional um, things you need to do to it. It all comes pre-done for you. So you basically can just take out your dumbbells, try it out, and see what you think about it right away. And the clasps at the end should work for just about every dumbbell. My core fitness dumbbells do have different handles as they are kind of curved or ergonomic, as I like to say, on the dumbbells themselves. So they actually are pretty tight in the fit, but do work. However, I think if you have standard dumbbells or ones with the normal handles, it's gonna work just fine. Now I did measure the bar itself and it comes in with a hand placement of 32 inches, meaning that's how far your hands can go on the bar on either side. And then the total length of the bar to make sure it fits in your room when doing exercises is 40 inches in length. So here is a quick tutorial on how you set it up. First off, you're going to have to untwist the lock on the end. This is the red circular thing at the end. You have to twist it off. Once it comes off, you're actually gonna open the clasp area and then you're gonna slide in your dumbbell into that little section for you. So once you have the dumbbell in, you close the clasp over it, make sure it's completely secure, and then you twist back on the red circle lock in order to keep it in place. Do that on both sides and then you are good to go. Once you've done it a few times, I did this probably like 10 to 15 times just when I was starting to see how I could do it. it I can now do it within like 15 to 30 seconds pretty easily. Again, the more weight you have, I found this a little harder because you do have to try and get the dumbbell over the ends. But otherwise, it takes again about 15, 30 seconds to put on both dumbbells. So now that I have the Hyperbell bar, what exercises do I prefer using the bar for rather than just dumbbells alone? The first one is the Romanian deadlift. Also dumbbells fit here, but I personally like to do the Romanian deadlift in my workouts to hit more of the hamstrings. Um, but this works much better than using dumbbells in my opinion, because it keeps me in proper form. I found with dumbbells, sometimes I'm getting more into a squat position rather than something like the Romanian deadlift where you're, or the stiff leg deadlift, where you're keeping your hips further back, legs straighter, and you're working more of the hamstrings. Um, if I'm using dumbbells, again, I kind of sit more into the positioning by accident. So I like having this so it can go right up and down my shins and stay in better alignment. Next up, we have the bent over row to hit the back. And it's kind of similar to what I think about the Romanian deadlift and that I can, can get into the position easier and just do the movement a little better. The dumbbells do allow you to bring it more to the side of your body. So if you're trying to hit more of the lats and you want to go more towards the waist, I found that maybe a little bit better for that. But if you're really trying to lift a bit more weight here, again, this only goes to 200 pounds total. But if you're looking for something still, I think a bit more comfortable, I like the bent over row more with the bar than just the dumbbells. Also, I found that when using the bar, I tend to not lose my grip quite as quickly because both hands are using the total amount of weight on it versus holding all the weight in one hand. Moving along, we have hip thrusts. So if you are doing this exercise to hit the glutes and the hamstrings, this is way, way better with the uh, Hyperbell bar. The reason being is that when you try and get regular dumbbells like up onto your waist, one, the ends can be very uncomfortable just sitting on your waist like that. And then uh, two, I found it's much, just much easier to get into position. I used to try and get them on and like thrust up or start in the like top position and put them on, but I always found it very awkward. Now I can just have them on both sides, get ready to go, and then kind of just push up and into position. For me, it's just a much easier experience when using a bar style setup. Next up, I do have biceps curls. And I personally like this because it allows me to focus on anchoring my elbows into position, where when I use just dumbbells alone, I find that I tend to move my elbow positioning without me doing it on purpose. Yes, this can happen with the barbell as well, but I just found that I'm, it's easier for me to concentrate on keeping them in place and letting the biceps do the work instead of having my arms kind of getting out of position or also turning on me when going through the range of motion. Now, if you want to actually twist, you will need dumbbells, but if you're looking to just keep 
a supinated style position, these are good for this exercise. And the last exercise I really like with this bar setup is skull crushers. So I've also been doing skull crushers with just the dumbbells, which is perfectly fine, but I found it's just a lot more comfortable and easier to get in position if you have a bar setup that you can do and just do something even like over a tricep extensions with this. I think it's just a lot easier, especially with two hands for doing a tricep extension based exercises or skull crushers if you're doing it on a bench or the floor. With that, I'm gonna rattle off a couple okay exercises, starting with the back squat. Now this exercise, it, the bar does allow you to actually get into a back squat position, which is kind of nice. However, if you're going, if you're someone going to failure or close to failure, this is a scary exercise without some kind of safety mechanism to put it down on. So I might shy away from this one a little bit and just have the dumbbells down by my sides, just holding them normally, or do something more like a standard deadlift where you're getting into position and actually doing a deadlift instead and kind of trying to get more activation on the quads, even though it is more of a posterior based exercise with the hamstrings and glutes. But again, if you have something, some way to get out of this safely, you can do it. If you're not going to fail, you're just learning the movement, fine. But this is one I put in the okay, just because if you're really pushing hard on this one, when you get to the failure point, you might not know what to do with the bar and end up dropping it on the ground, which if you're using dumbbells like mine, might not be the best idea. So next up, we have the overhead press to hit the shoulders. I put this in the okay category because it's awkward to get into position. Now, even with sitting, you kind of have to like lunge them up into position where if you're using dumbbells, you can actually just kick them up when you're sitting down, which is much easier to get them up by your shoulders. But with the bar, you kind of have to like swing up into position or like basically snatch them up into position uh, to get them started. So that might not be some what you want to do. For me, I can get up into position, but I just found it can be potentially dangerous, but you can do this exercise just fine. Just know you will have to figure out a way if you're not strong enough to get them into position without getting yourself hurt. So my next exercise is another pressing exercise, and this would be the bench press. Now you can do this on a floor or using a bench, um, but if you are using a bench, I do recommend a slight incline um, on it. That way you can get out of the exercise a bit easier if you do reach failure. Now for this one, I did put it in the okay category only because when you're doing something like a press, your chest actually, one of its functions is bringing the arm across the body. So the actual fibers actually come across your body this way. So when you have a barbell, you actually have your hands fixed in position. This is also kind of a problem with the overhead press too, but when you're pushing out with this, your hands are in a fixed position. They can't naturally go out and come closer together at the end to really squeeze the chest. So that is one problem with, again, like the bench press, while you can load a lot of weight, you do lose that ability to really contract fully by bringing the dumbbells up closer together. Kind of why the fly is a good exercise. That's the only real main con here. Um, and again, also you can get stuck with this exercise if you're not doing it appropriately, where if you're using dumbbells, you can usually just drop out of the exercise pretty easily without getting stuck. All right, so the last two exercises are the calf raise and the shrug. The reason I have them in the okay category is because having the barbell just in front of you, it's just, it's just not as good as having the dumbbells at your side. Unless maybe you need, want to hold a lot of weight, um, I really don't see a benefit to having the dumbbell or the bar in front of you versus just dumbbells at your side and doing the movement. So this will maybe be up to your preference, but honestly, I think just having the dumbbells at your side, which also will help work your traps to stabilize it in place. Um, I just think that's a better exercise overall. So now on to my concerns with the Hyperbell by JFlex. And the first one has to be the plastic material it's made from. So first off, you have the twist lock, which are the red twist locks on it. These are made completely of plastic and not the hardest plastic in the world. So I do fear that over time, these may break. Um, there is a two year warranty on the product if you register it. So you do get this little card um, that I have. So you get a two year warranty if you register the product. Not sure if I will or not yet, but if I start liking it, I probably will. But just know that this, as well as the end material, it's more of a harder plastic, this end material, but both are plastic, so they could wear out over time and potentially break. So that's something I am currently worried about, but I'm gonna test and see how long this lasts with my dumbbells. But if JFlex is listening, please make both of these a metal material and just hinge this one, just like you have at the end. And I think it'll go a long way with easing people's minds on it breaking over time. Not only that, but if you make this metal, it might allow you to add even more weight to the end, which would be really cool. So you can get some really heavy dumbbells that people could use. So that's it. That's really all my concerns for this product. It's really just, will this hold up over time? Because I think it is absolutely perfect otherwise. And I've really enjoyed my first couple workout tests with using this. So 
I'm looking forward to seeing what upgrades maybe come up in the future for this. But as it stands, my only one concern is that durability with the plastics. But otherwise, I'm definitely testing this for the next couple of months to see how it goes. And also with this product around $140, um, I think it's going to make people shy away from it quite a bit. Um, so, And they also have to buy dumbbells if they don't already own it. So I think if we can bring down the price just a little bit on this, it could go a long way with most consumers. So that is the Hyperbell by JFlex. If you did like this, please make sure to check out my five-year review of the core fitness dumbbells, which are the ones I used with this product to show it off um, in the video. So if you're interested in those, make sure you check out that video on screen. But with that, remember to be fit and game on.